episode, guest episode, Wayne Deacon has come episode. <laughs> Definitely a mental episode. Episode? I hate that. Episode? Growl for me. Mini growl. F-U-C-U-K, Andrew. Jimmy Barnes. This isn't the channel for you. Get off this channel now. Episodes, episodes, episodes. Episode 75. Do an episode. The episodes are there for you. Episode, episodes. I'm finding myself thinking about saying episodes too much again. Jimmy Barnes, you are in my head. You are a swine of a man. A swine of a man. Episode. Oh, fuck you, Jimmy Barnes. <laughs> Welcome! Got a rather small box to open today. That can only mean one thing. Well, maybe two things. Either Jason Close had his new mankini redirected to me for some reason, or there's a Funko Soda in here. Of course, there is a Funko Soda figure in here. And this is a purchase made from Popporium. I've used them before. Please go and check out my Funko collecting playlist for previous Popporium unboxings. This is a soda in pretty much the only line of Funko sodas that I actually collect, Ad Icons. And they've got a load of these in, apparently. Um, I think they ordered something like, I don't know, 20 odd cases or something. So they've got like over a hundred of these, the exact one figure for sale. So uh, I'm pretty confident that the time this video goes out, they're still gonna have plenty of these left if you want to grab one yourself and the price was pretty reasonable I think $15.99 and then a few extra quid in postage around about what I would like to pay for a soda I have paid more for that type of Funko figure before but generally I don't really think they're worth much more than about £15 unless you happen to pull a chase of course and there will be some chase jeopardy here I'm not overly bothered if I get the chase, it'll be quite exciting, as it often is, if I did pull it, but it's one of those that's not really going to look much, if any, different really from the common. Just figure out the best way of opening this box. It's a decent box, this, but oh, let's just get right into it. I've got this figure in pop form, he says, ruining the box. It's one of my favourite ad icons, it's one that I picked it up finally after a few years of wanting it and sort of looking around and thinking oh I can't really afford that or I can't warrant the sort of money. And then I picked it up last year and I did get it on a heavy discount thanks to Pop Figures Freddie Franks. Uh, we've got a little handwritten note here from Popporium. Why do people keep writing to me at the moment when I can't read? Um, hi James my Sunday name. Thank you for your continued support, I think. Keep up the great videos. Hope it's a chase from Popporium. I think it's InstaFunko UK on Instagram who runs the company. Oh, so thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate that. Nice little personal touch there. Always happy to support a decent independent Funko seller here in the UK. There's a few good ones. There's been one or two sort of dodgy ones that um, have been and gone and maybe one of them still in existence, but I'll leave you to work out which one I'm referring to there. Without wanting to sound too kind of self-satisfied over it, if you want a general idea of who you should be shopping with when it comes to buying Funko Pops and things like that, just look at all my Funko collecting videos and just see the companies who I use on a regular basis. If there's any that I don't use very often, then either I don't rate them as a company for whatever reason, or in the case of maybe Geek Garage, for instance, I really like them as a company, but they just never seem to have the sort of stock in that I'm interested in. So I would recommend Geek Garage, but I'd never shop there. I've bought from there once, and I do look from time to time, and hopefully I will use them again. Anyway, that's not particularly relevant, because we've got a soda to unbox here, or get open. Anyone who says uncannin or uncan, go straight to the back of the room and put your dunce's cap on. But great package in there, can't fault the protection from Potporium. Safety first, of course. And the soda we're going to open today, ah, uh, I'm so happy to get this. I mean, they've got loads of them still at Potporium, so uh, any ad icon fan, really, you should be snapping this up. And I've not seen it anywhere else. 
but this is from Lucky Charms. It's Lucky the Leprechaun. A brilliant pop. I've got the glow-in-the-dark version, and ironically, the chase is glow-in-the-dark here. I don't think it looks any different, apart from its ability to glow. It's limited to quite a high number, actually. I think that says 14,500 pieces. So that's probably why Pop Porium were able to get a massive shipment of them for what would have been for them a pretty good wholesale price. Hence why this hasn't really cost that much. It's been under £20, including a bit in postage. Yeah, you've all seen a Funko can before. You know the drill. I do like the sodas. I have deliberately not really deep-dived into them because of just space constraints. There's one or two other lines, such as The Office, and there's some nice Marvel Lucha Libre sodas that I like, but I've deliberately stayed away from them, even though I've seen a lot of them out there at a good price. I'm just getting ad icon ones occasionally. Right, let's get it open. First things first, we get the cellophane off the can. Now then, will I be able to open this without any external assistance? Sometimes these are really easy to open, and other times I'm standing here struggling. Oh, oh! look at that. First time. Maybe that's a sign of good luck. What I like to do, I like to take the soda out. I'm sort of holding my head up a bit so I don't catch sight of the pog. And then give the can a bit of a shake to make sure that there's a pog inside. I did see, I can't remember whose video it was. It was ages ago as well. Someone bought a brand new soda and Funko had forgot to include a pog. And I think they've included the wrong pogs occasionally as well. It's Funko, let's be honest, in 2022, they're not a niche, cool company anymore. They sell in supermarkets, they release way too much stuff. <laughs> yes, this is still a Funko channel, but yeah, I'm going to rant about a company who I've spent a lot of money with and how they kind of cash grab in these days. But anyway, and don't get me started on those fucking NFTs, Jesus Christ almighty. Right, the black bin bag. I should be able to tell if this is the Chase Lucky, because if he's glow in the dark, then his paint job's going to be a little bit more luminous. But I really don't care, I just wanted this figure. There we are. Um, if I had to guess, I would say he's the common. He doesn't seem to be extra bright to me. We will go to the POG for confirmation shortly. Chuck this out, because I don't save it. But what a great soda figure and a great ad icon now in soda form. He's got his leprechaun's outfit on, the Irish green hat with the shamrock, bright ginger hair there, just like any good Celtic man. He's holding, I think that'll be one of the marshmallows, well a couple of marshmallows. No, he's holding a marshmallow in his left hand and a spoon to eat his Lucky Charm cereal in his right then black trousers, and then some of those kind of long, curving upward shoes that sort of mythical characters tend to wear. I like this effect on the back of the figure here, where his scarf is blowing in the wind. That's a nice touch. I don't think that occurs on the pop, so that's a nice little addition, really. So, yeah, I'm pretty certain that's the common, but we'll go and have a look at the pog now and just check. Yeah, it's just the common, and that's more than fine for me. Lucky there, and he is 1 in 12,100. So I think this is probably the most common soda out of all the sodas I've got, to be perfectly fair. I mean, they've released a lot of these, 14,500. Potporium have certainly got their fair share, so once again, I do recommend that if you're into ad icons and or soda figures, you get to Potporium and show them some support, and they've got a reward system now, similar to like Freddy Franks and all the rest. At some point, I will have to cash in some of my points there and get a discount. There we are. Fantastic stuff. Really happy with Lucky the Leprechaun, the common soda, representing Lucky Charms sugar-filled cereal. Nice. Thank you all for watching this Funko Soda unboxing. Hope you enjoyed it. And special thanks, as always, not only to Potporium for another brilliant delivery, but also to my wonderful subscribers and generous patrons. Please see all my Funko affiliate links down in the description text box. There you will receive discounts, and just generally it's a good guide of who I recommend when it comes to buying these little dollies. Also in the description text box is my Patreon link, 
and my Facebook group link and because the Pop-Tart loves it, there's also Contents Insurance Affiliate as well. I'm gonna go now, I'm gonna find room for Lucky the Leprechaun in my soda display. Always keep the can as well, of course, and the Pog, not the bin bag, because I don't see the point in keeping a bit of plastic bag that I've ripped open. People say I save that stuff in case I'm ever gonna sell them. Well, just use some different bubble wrap or a bit of an old bag or something, <laughs> a bit of an old bag. And on that bombshell, I do hope that you will all join me again next time for my next Funko Soda video. Cheers, everyone. See ya!